Next, I want to talk about strain aging. Um, so we're once again at the stress strain curve for steel. Um, and if we were to load, we would go up elastically, we'd hit our yield plateau, and then we'd start going on our uh, strain hardening region to ultimate, and then eventually to, uh, to failure. Um, so if we were to, uh, let's say, partially load it, so let's come up in blue, Let's load it to our strain hardening region, or, or to our yield plateau, and then start into our strain hardening region, and then unload it. And then we let it sit for a bit, and then we reloaded it. Uh, what would happen is uh, we would get this strain aging effect. So as we reload, we'd go past where we would have been on our previous curve. Uh, we'll see some kind of... Uh, small um, yield plateau and then we'll get uh, we'll move up to our ultimate strength and then what will happen is uh, if we were to continue testing this compared to where we were before uh, we'll fail at a lower um, strain so this is what's called the uh, strain uh, aging effect And it will be uh, important for us uh, when we're dealing with inelastic reinforcement behavior.